Hey, this is Danny with Insane in the Brine. Check us out at Insane in the Brine. That's B R I N E dot com for all of our recipes. Also on Facebook as a group and a page and on Instagram. And we're always adding more videos here as well. Now, today I'm going to show you the method I use to make a few different peach simple syrups. I made a peach simple syrup from peaches that I juiced at home with my juicer. And I also made uh, a peach simple syrup with just some peach juice I bought from the store using a very simple method. And that was very quick and easy. It was a very clarified um, juice. It was very filtered, I mean. So you can see in this picture here, the one on the left is the store-bought juice. And the one on the right, even though I filtered mine many times, ended up like that. But at the end, I'm going to compare them and let you know what I think about the flavors and uses. Both of them... I do recommend, they're very delicious. They would both be great on ice cream, in tea, in cocktails. And at the end, I also give my recipe for what I'm calling the Georgia Mule, which is the peach simple syrup with bourbon and ginger beer, a little mint and lime juice. And we'll show you that recipe at the end. So stay tuned. Now I'm gonna put up the recipe for making this, but really just about any simple syrup is just equal parts by volume of liquid could be water and sugar and that would give you just straight simple syrup could be a juice it could be um, some fruit or ingredients that you boil in water uh, we can call that a wort like for making wine um, basically you're making flavored water that's another method I have some videos using that route but for this one I just juiced my peaches um, I bought a few pounds to try a few different ways of um, juice of using the juice um, as far as the filtering process to make it and the one that I thought was the best or you know this one here is just using some fine mesh strainers to filter my juice I was gonna post how I uh, made some juice and ran it through like a muslin cloth kind of like it would be like a coffee filter and I just let it drip and it took a very long time Actually, just making it this way, you can see I'm just kind of working it back and forth there with the spoon. Um, it looks like I spent a while, but I really only spent maybe a couple minutes doing this. And then that gave me a pretty nice juice you can see there. Then I ran it through the filter again one more time. And uh, it didn't get the same level of you know transparent color as the store-bought filtered juice, but it looked pretty good. And it, like I said, only took me a few minutes of doing this. So just letting it sit there and drip through like a filter. You can use a coffee filter. For certain juices, that works really well, like you know, lemon or lime juice. It really clarifies them. But it just wasn't giving me that result. So I think just work, working it through the way I was with the spoon worked pretty well. Then once I got it nice and filtered, I did my equal parts. Of course, I had three quarters of a cup of sugar and three quarters of a cup of uh, juice that I ended up putting together. Brought it to a boil, you can see there. And actually, a kind of skin of the the pulp that still is in the juice starts to form at the top. You could leave that and filter it at the end, but I went ahead and I have this little, this little uh, strainer here. I got some of it out, but there was yet more that formed, so um, you, could, you could go either way on that. So after I got that to the boil, I just turned it down to low and I let it simmer uncovered. For about, you can go 15 minutes, you'll have a, a little bit of a looser syrup. You go 20, 25 minutes, it'll get really nice and thick. So, and then when that was done, again, I poured it through those, that double filter I've got going, the double mesh strainer, and um, that gave me even a little bit more solids that it collected. And it really was pretty nice and transparent at the end there, as you can see, the light shining through it. It just never got to the same level of clarity as the store-bought juice, which is fine. It still looked really good. It didn't have any bits in it or anything, and I was really satisfied with it. Getting it into my clean, sterilized jar there, I used my, my bottling funnel and once again used those fine mesh strainers. So it's been like three or four times it was run through those uh, so each time. It, you know, it helped. At this point, it, it probably wasn't even necessary, but I was just kind of being a perfectionist about it. I'm going to bring it to the fridge, and overnight or in the next few hours, that's going to allow it to really solidify and thicken up. 
Now, once it did that, I didn't need to do this at all, but I got kind of a little anal about it and um, took another strainer with some paper towel, kind of acting like a coffee filter, and I ran it through again to really make sure there was no fine debris in there whatsoever. I don't think this step was necessary. Um, letting it pass through was several more minutes, and uh, you can see it there. I just let it drip, and finally... Uh, I still ended up with three quarters of a cup, so I didn't lose the volume you might expect from purifying it. And now we're going to move on to the peach syrup that I made just using a store brand. I didn't use this one. I used the Juicy Juice. This is just showing you some of the items I've seen in grocery stores before. And this one is at Whole Foods. It's pure peach juice. It's organic. So that's probably the closest to what I made. But a lot of these ones... You look at the ingredients, and peach juice is in there, but it's maybe the third or fourth ingredient. Um, I mean, this was 100% juice, so that was good, but peach and apple were higher up in the ingredient chain. So, um, you know, at the end, I can talk about the flavor of that one. But the color is kind of nice as far as if you want to get that really clear-looking syrup. So, as before, I made a smaller one here. This was a half a cup of sugar and half a cup of the juice. You could do the three quarters, you could do one cup, that's really up to you. The more that you put in, usually the cook time is a little bit longer relative to that. Again, brought it to a boil, reduced it, let it simmer like that, uncovered for about 20 minutes. This was, this was less, so I did about 15 minutes here on this one actually. And again, you're gonna transfer it to your storage container and then put it in the fridge once it cools a little bit. And by the next day, or even a few hours later, you'll have a really nice syrup. And that's just the general idea for any simple syrup that you want to make. And here's back to the original. We're going to set them down for a little side-by-side -side comparison. All right, so my peach simple syrups have rested overnight in the fridge. They really thickened up. They just really look good. I've tasted them a little bit, but I haven't done this side by side yet, so let's see what I think. Let's open them up. You can already see one difference is just in the color. This one is the, the one made from the juice, of course, that was really filtered juice, and uh, so it's lighter in color and it's more transparent. Um, and the home squeezed peaches, you know, ended up with a darker color and not as transparent, but maybe that's going to um, equal out to a more intense flavor. So let's see. All right, so this one, as you can see, they've got that nice syrupy texture now, consistency. Mm, it's got a really nice flavor. You know, that was, that juice had more apple and pear juice in it than peach juice. So, I mean, it tastes more like, unsurprisingly, a uh, apple simple syrup but if you had to make a peach cocktail using some peach simple syrup and this is what you had it would totally pass and has a good flavor so as a really quick solution to get you some peach simple syrup and then you probably you know, go to the grocery store you can surely find pure peach juices just that day I was there that the juicy juice that was made up of some different juices was the only thing I could find but I showed some of the other brands before and uh, if you go to Whole Foods or a nice store that has different organic pure juices, you'll definitely find uh, peach juice without having to squeeze it yourself. Now, as for the, the one that I squeeze, let's try that. All right. Mmm. Yeah. That's got a really intense peachy flavor. It almost also reminds me of apricot, but, you know, excuse the birds in the back there. You know, apricot and peach have a similar flavor, so if you were making something you need an apricot flavor, I think this would pass. But it definitely has a more intense flavor and more distinctly uh, peachy flavor, even though I also think it's kind of apricot-y. Um, it definitely belongs in a peach cocktail so either of these i think are great solutions and now you know 
Speaking of cocktails, let's finish up with my Georgia peach mule recipe. I live here in the peach state. We have some great peaches when it's seasoned, so that's probably part of my fascination with them. Now I've got one and a half ounces of bourbon here, half ounce of my peach syrup, that's a tablespoon, and then another half ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And I just start to mix that up because if you put in the ice right away before the syrup has been mixed up, then it doesn't really mix as well. So then I had a half a peach that I cut up, bunch of mint from my garden. I stirred that. I gently crushed it to get some of the flavor in there without making it mush. And then I added my ice and then around five or six ounces of ginger beer. That was in Fever Tree. That's my favorite if it's not my homemade. And then I just added the lime wheel to garnish it. Now this is a recipe for, of course, one serving. If you want to make two or more, just double the amount that you're using. Enjoy it. However you use this peach syrup, I hope you like it. I hope you We'll visit us for other recipes, and please feel free to check out our website, insaneinthebrine.com. Lots of pickle and ferment recipes there, and a lot more. Bye-bye.